What is up? My name is Casey. I'm your best friend and I'm coming at you live from your backyard. Don't look for me. You can't find me. Today I'm making a cowl neck slip dress. It's really good for prom and for wedding. It's good to wear to prom and weddings if you want. I mean, specifically, I'm duping the Aster and Label Gaia midi dress, but don't tell anyone. Don't be a narc, okay? This is between us. I'm trusting you. You want to see how it's made? Me too. Do you like this little microphone? What if I do ASMR? Subscribe to my channel and my other socials for the chance to see me doing more content at different times than is in this. What a treat. So I bought this kind of mauve pink color, but anyone who knows me knows that I really love these kind of like olive sage green type dresses. So I thought, well, I don't wanna buy two dresses, so why don't I just make one? I ordered some fabric in the preferred color online, but then I also got this like peachy color one. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it was just really pretty, so I, I bought it. It's called being smart and having impulse control, and I have a 1000 IQ. I always stop myself from doing things that I wanna do. I'm in a Adult. So first step is to drape your fabric so that you can try and figure out what the shape of the dress is. But now also if you have white shoes that need to be washed, now is the time because you're going to New Orleans. Wave goodbye to a passing ship like it's the 1920s and you're saying goodbye to the Titanic. While you're there, go look at some alligators and wonder what these green creatures would look like in an olive green cowl neck dress. I'm sure they'd be beautiful. Fold the dress so that you're cutting against the selvage. You really want to be able to have that nice uh, drooping effect, but what you can't do if you're sewing along the grain line. Look at me. It's as if I know what all of these words mean. I decided to make a mock-up of the dress with some random extra bed sheets that I had laying around. I decided that this was the only way. Force this bed sheet into the correct shape and then just cut it up. The mock-up itself might look a little janky because it is just so wrinkled, but the actual piece of fabric that I cut out itself looks pretty good, all things considered. So then I need to move on to actually cutting out a matching piece for the back. So it's going to be just a little bit lower uh, around like the mid back area. And so I just cut that out. I was thinking that maybe I was put a little like window there, but I ended up not putting the window. It doesn't matter. Cause honestly, why does your back need a window? It doesn't, it's a back. They're just gonna be looking at your lungs. That's messed up. Those are for you and you alone. What does this even mean? to kind of adjust the back and just make it a little bit more fit on the waist uh, and then kind of fully decide how I'm going to uh, do the cowl, like how deep I want it to go. I don't want it to be too deep, uh, but also don't want it to be, you know, basically flat and nothing. But I did read somewhere that if you kind of just let the satin hang overnight and you put it in the shape that you want, it will kind of form into that shape. So that is what I am doing now. Cut out pieces for straps. Now, if you want your straps to look good, you should iron it before you sew it. Um, but I'm not going to do that because... I don't want anything I do to look good, obviously. I forgot to mention that if you're still in New Orleans, you should come back and do this sewing at home and not in New Orleans. Turn your straps right side together and sew a little channel. I am going to scream! Okay, I have two new ones. Let's, let's, root for me, please, I, I need it. I was suffering because my straps kept ripping whenever I was trying to turn them inside out because of the satin fabric, so I went to get some ice cream and look at some cows. You can't really tell because it was dark. I had to actually iron them, which was really sad because I really don't like ironing because I have to take the ironing board out. It's just laziness, I know, but you know, I have just so many other things that I'm trying to accomplish and ironing is just not on, it doesn't make the list. Then attach the straps to the dress. However you want to do that, I guess. I've been kind of experimenting with some different hemming styles and um, you'd probably ask, why are you experimenting on this kind of fabric? And it's because... Okay, I'm taking a break. It's called self-care. My hair is wet and in this terrible bun, so you know that it's going to be drying weird. Um... So the dress is shaping up pretty well, which I mean, it's a slip dress. It doesn't really take that much. So kind of the last steps is going to be hemming some of the sides in the bottom. I'm going to be adding a slit at the bottom to just kind of try and imitate the other dress a little bit more, which I still have not tried on. So I really hope it fits because we're going to be getting the 30 days and um, I'm supposed to be wearing this to an actual wedding in like a little bit. So. The other thing I want to do is add some little loops at the side and I will snake the uh, straps through it and then I can just tie it in the back 
and this again will make it kind of more of a dupe of the other dress and it will make it so that it just kind of fits like a little bit uh, more securely because right now it's got kind of you know the open side which is very cool if that's the type of look that you want um, I have a fear that I will fall out of the dress so if anyone is looking for a new show to watch oh my god Kathy's like naked don't look at her so if anyone's looking for a new show to watch you should watch the seven lives of Leah or the seven V's de Leah de uh, don't come at me for my French pronunciation, but it's uh, it's in French. The show is on Netflix. It's about a girl, Leah, who is sad about life. While being sad, she comes across a dead body. Uh, when she goes to sleep that night, she wakes up as the dead guy. And so it's like a time-traveling body swap, but she tries to figure out what happened, and it's really good. And I would really love for someone else to watch it and discuss it with me. Oh my god. So this is when I start cutting out the loops from just little bits of extra scrap fabric. I really love my rolling cutter even though I have cut my finger on one occasion and I have on multiple times cut the fabric itself by accident in random places where I shouldn't be cutting it. Um, so I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of a pun but it's not working. Imagine that I just said the funniest joke of your entire life, okay? Just, if you could just do that for me I would really appreciate it. But then you need to sew these with the right sides facing and then flip them inside out, which is the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone probably ever in the history of the world. Yes, my hair is wet again. It's always wet. I'm always showering. I'm always clean. That's how you know. So the only thing I have left to do is make the like slit in the leg. That's the only thing that's left. Uh, so, uh, I'm looking at an imaginary watch. So just imagine how long that's going to take me. Like, Realistically, probably 30 minutes or less is how much time it'll take to cut a slit and then just hem the slit. Knowing me, it'll just probably take like 30 days for me to walk into the room next to here, 10 feet away, and do it. Did you tell me that I do not go cross-eyed when I do that? I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna find out. This is literally dry skin. This is not like a cold sore. My lips are like a nightmare with dryness. It looks like I have a little downturn. Shit. And then through a little bit of magic, you just do a little bit of cutting and wow, now there's a split in the dress. Then you have to hem the edges of the dress. Then perhaps take a moment to realize that you like the dress better without the slit, but it's, it's too late, you already did it. Pro tip, um, don't cut the fabric by accident and then need to sew it. All right, let's wear this. Hmm, but where? In a canoe, on a lake. We're live! We're live, on the lake. This is my prom picture. <laughs> Do I look stunning? Sure. Yes. Do I look stunning? A bell. That's the a southern leaking. one. A beautiful southern bell. On the lake. I, I feel like a sinner in chat. What kind of accent was that? <laughs> now this boat is moving like molasses. Like a June bug on the 4th of July. I like to go down to the bayou. See all the alligators on the lake. Welcome to prom. Prom on the water. Prodder. Prom on water. Prom, or like an equation, prom over water. I just want everyone who might watch this, uh, that there are two other people. <laughs> oh! I really am this much of a bother to everyone in my daily life. I wonder if they can even hear me. Do Wait. I have to scream? I don't know, you might have to do a voice. Ah! The bead dropped an oar on my head and it hurts. Oh, it didn't? Make them kiss. Oh, wow. Make them kiss. Make them kiss. Could, could you imagine being terrified? <laughs> like some giant creature picks you up and then like forces your <laughs> shell into another... Bye, buddies. After a long day canoeing, take your dress to the local high school and wear it to prom. Even though the school year is over and there's no more prom, that doesn't matter.
dance like nobody's watching, except for all the passerbys in their cars. Can you blur it out? I'm not very good at making videos. Well. Frolic through the park. Run. This is also good to wear if you were supposed to go to a wedding and ended up making a whole dress and video for said occasion, but then you ended up getting COVID a week before and sick and ill and coughing, so you can't go. That's when it's appropriate to wear to a field. It feels like a real dress someone would wear somewhere. Not me, just a big hill. And someone's school that I didn't go to. Careful, do you have a model in the flowers? Do I look like a model? I guess. I'm a model for prom and wedding. Weddings you can't go to because you have COVID. Some wet spotting right there. No. Did you put yourself? I did. Ah. Don't look at my, don't look at my pee spots. David gave me a lovely corsage. Wow. It's like I had a date to prom. Yeah. It fell off. Oh. Don't worry. I got it. Someone's walking up here. If they don't tell me I'm pretty, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna cause a commotion. That, but I just want David. David's aware that I'm gonna be screaming. Ooh, if they walk up here, take them out. Oh, don't step on them. Oh. If you see me on the dance floor, stay away. I have COVID. So you can wear this dress to prom. I don't know if I'd recommend it. Mostly because I'm like an adult. Uh, so you can't go to prom legally. I feel like this is another type of dress that I would kill someone when wearing. So I feel like we just need more murder dresses in the world. Great things about being a theater kid is that you always know some sort of random song with lyrics that like slightly apply or at least rhyme to whatever situation that you're in. And you can regale the people around you with the the gift of song. You don't even have to be very good at it. From the moment I saw you, I fell. I don't know if those are the words. Probably not the words. Um Shut up. So um, if you don't have a prom or a wedding to go to, it's good for grocery shopping or you could just not wear it. And then this is the dress I was duping for comparison. I did not open it or try it on before making my dress. So I made it based on the photos alone. The main differences are the neckline really and then the length as mine is floor length and the other ends around my lower calf. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm really happy with how this actually came out. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I love you. <laughs>